What's up guys, today I'm going to be going over Google Chrome for iOS. It just hit the App Store today after uh, Google had their INO announcement earlier today. And I'm going to be going over some of the differences that Google Chrome has from the Safari web browser. So let's go over and go to the application. You'll notice the icon which is used on all their Android devices. So we'll go ahead and click on it and then it will open up this screen right here and you'll be able to type in your URL just like you would be on Safari. Now this Google Chrome, it does use the theme that it uses uh, by default on the computer. So that's pretty cool that they're keeping everything the same. It has the silver theme and it has Google Chrome down here. You have all your recently closed tabs down here and up here you have all the most used tabs just like you would on a computer. And in the star right here you have all your mobile bookmarks. So if you end up bookmarking something they're going to be going right in here and you can go ahead and click on them whenever you need so. And you do have uh, bookmarks right in here because you're going to be able to sync your computer's bookmarks and your other bookmarks from your other uh, devices that use Google Chrome and they'll all go in here right in the folder. So I go to desktop bookmarks and you'll see I have all this as my bookmarks on my computer. And I can go ahead and open them and it'll open up the website as like I was on my computer. Now if I go ahead and click this tab right here, this is kind of the settings panel of Google Chrome. You'll have your new tab, you'll have the incognito tab which will bring up like a invisible web browsing experience, you'll have all your bookmarks, you'll have the websites you've been viewing on your other devices, you'll be able to email, you'll be able to find this particular page you were already viewing on your history. You'll have request desktop website which is a really cool feature because if you're viewing the mobile version of a website and you want to view the actual desktop website you can go in here and click that button. And then you have your settings. You can go in here and you could sign into Chrome so you're all signed up and you can sync your tabs from other computers or devices. You can pick your search engine, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. You can pick the save password so you don't have to keep logging in over and over again. And the voice search, which I'm going to be going over in a second. You're going to be able to use a future sort of like dictation on iOS. And then you can clear your data, you can clear your browsing data and everything like that. Now the voice search, what I was talking about a second ago, it's just like dictation. It's a little microphone button right up there. You're going to be able to click and use your voice to search. I'm not sure why they did that since the dictation button is right there. But let's go ahead and see how it works. What are you doing? Testing one, two, three. And it seems to work well just like dictation. Now if we go ahead and click the tab right here, you're going to be able to open up a new tab. And you're going to be able to click from your bookmarks. You're going to click from uh, basically anything. You can open up another tab. You can un open up basically unlimited tabs according to the app store information. And then if you go over here, you can actually bring up your desktop tab. So if you have uh, stuff open up on your computer, you can just click on it and open it. And the really cool thing about this is that you can actually view the history from your computer right on here. If you click this button right here, once it's done loading, you're going to be able to go back and back and back from where you were on your computer. So if I keep going back, it's going to bring me back to my tabs I was at before on my computer. And say I did have an iPad or something or another iOS device. If I had Google Chrome on and I was logged in, I'm going to be able to sync all the tabs from those devices as well. So that is about it for Google Chrome. I would say I love the interface of this compared to Safari. I'm not sure how different it is in speed wise. So let's go ahead and test that out. So what I just did is I went in and cleared the history and everything out of both Safari and Chrome. And what I'm going to do is since I have one device, I'm going to tape me opening Safari and then I'm going to tape me using Google Chrome and I'm going to put both videos in against each other and then I'm going to show you which one is faster. I'm going to line it up right when I click OK on both browsers. So I'm going to be opening up, uh, let's do CNN.com.
And there you have it. After the end, Safari lost by a long shot. This opened up in the matter of, I think, two seconds. And with Safari, that took about 10 seconds to totally load. So if you're looking for a faster browser, I would definitely suggest Google Chrome. In the comments below, tell me what you think of the new Google Chrome browser on iOS. I like it overall. I do love the speed. And I love the fact that you can sync tabs from all of your devices. Tell me what your favorite feature is in the comments below. Remember to give me a like and a subscribe if you do enjoy videos like this. I will see you guys in the next one.